All right, Mr. Bubbles, we're finally here. I set you free. Go and prosper, Mr. Bubbles. And go. Go, Mr. Bubbles. Bubbles. Go, 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 go. Mr. Bubbles, go. You're free. Go. What in the nucleus of an atom are you doing, Mr. Koning? I am trying to return Mr. Bubbles back to his home. Uh... What? It's just... Yes? This isn't where a shark belongs. He's not just a shark, he's Mr. Bubbles. Right. Well, you know this isn't Mr. Bubbles' natural habitat. You know that, right? Well, uh, yeah, of course I knew that, Mr. Kressbach. But why does it matter? Well... Every animal has a specific habitat they live in. Mr. Bubbles could never live out here because this environment doesn't provide all the things he needs to live. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to think about all the things that Mr. Bubbles needs to live. Hmm, it would seem so. All right, Mr. Krasbach. Sounds like you and I need to figure out what Mr. Bubbles actually needs to live. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's figure out Mr. Bubbles' habitat. Right. So let's think about all the things that might affect Mr. Bubbles. Okay, well, there's the uh, sun that he's going to be around. Oh, oh, there's people that he eats. Oh, there's things that eat him. There's, like, fishermen. Uh, there's going to be uh, th all the water. What about the temperature that's going on there? Uh, what? Oh, there's so much stuff. Whoa there. Calm down, buddy. Let's try to break this down and make it easier. Whew. Okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. All right. From all you just said, it sounds like we can split an animal's habitat into two parts. Living and non-living things. Awesome. That sounds like a great start. However, I think we should use the more scientific words. And those are? Biotic and abiotic, of course. Right. Good call, Mr. Koning. Vocab? Are you two talking about vocab? Oh, hi, Mrs. Koning. Yes, we are talking about science vocabulary. Mind if I try figuring out the meaning of your two words? Absolutely not. Be our guest. So your two words were... Biotic and abiotic. Well, I'm not familiar with the word biotic, but does it have anything to do with biology? It sounds a lot like it. It does, and you're right. Biology is the study of living things, and biotic, it just means living. Gotcha! while the prefix a means not or without. So I would imagine abiotic means without life or not living. Bingo! Great! English accomplished! See you guys! Uh, did she just, uh... Mm-hmm. Not really sure how she does it. Well, all right. Back to Mr. Bubbles. Oh my gosh, I forgot Mr. Bubbles. <gasps> Bubbles, come here! You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> yes, Mr. Bubbles! I bet Mr. Bubbles knows the things he needs. Let's ask him. What? What? It's just, I'm not talking to a fish. Just ask him! Okay. Mr. Bubbles? Yes? Wow, okay. Mr. Bubbles, what do you need to live? Uh, thanks for asking, guys. Oh, uh, let me show you. Whee! Woohoo! Okay, guys. Well, let's first start with me. And us while we're at it. Of course. Uh, okay. Well, in this habitat, we're all living. Oh, I remember this. The study of living things is called biology. So, since all three of us are living, it must mean we are biotic. Great! But that's not the only biotic things in my habitat. I also need things... to eat! Just kidding! Well, I think that brings us to the first part of your habitat. Food! 
I guess the question is, what do sharks eat? Uh, he, he, humans? Well, actually, sharks eating humans is actually pretty uncommon. Yeah, there's much easier things to eat in the sea. Well, everything a shark eats is, or was, living. So, food in this case would be biotic. Yum! Oh no! Alright, so the first part of Mr. Bubble's habitat is food. And because it's living, or was living, it's biotic. Right. So, sharks eat, but do they drink? Hmm. Hey, Mr. Bubbles. Yes? Do you drink water? Well, all living things need water to live, but I don't drink it like you think. I absorb it through my skin. Hmm. I guess that brings us to the next part of your habitat. Water. All life on Earth needs it to live. And Mr. Bubbles is no exception. Right. And since water isn't alive, it has to be... Abiotic. Right. Abiotic. Meaning, not living, of course. Uh, you know, guys, there's another way I use water. I hunt in it. I swim in it. Find lady sharks and I reproduce. So I use the water as my shelter. Sounds like we got the third part of your habitat, then. Shelter. Now, I'm one of the kings of the ocean, so I really don't have much to hide from. But to most other animals, shelter is where they hide from other predators, and sometimes have their babies there, too. So is shelter abiotic or biotic? Hmm. I'm guessing that probably depends on what it's using for shelter. Oh, sure. That makes sense. If the animal is using a cave, its shelter would be abiotic. But if it was using trees, it'd be biotic. Yup, that's correct, guys. Shelter can be using non-living things. Abiotic. Or non-living things. Biotic. The last thing I need to live is space. Like outer space? <laughs> no, Mr. Grasbach means where he lives, where he finds his food and mates. Gotcha. So the area he lives in is his space. Yup. Space is really important. I need to make sure there's enough food, water, and space for me. I can't be competing with too many other sharks, or else I might not be able to get everything I need in my habitat. Oh, also, space isn't living, so it's considered abiotic. Wow, Mr. Bubbles. So is that all the parts of your habitat? Yup, that's it, all right. Awesome. Thanks for your help, Mr. Bubbles. Oh, it was my pleasure, gentlemen. Bye. See you, Mr. Bubbles. Huh, that really was a lot of fun. It sure was. Understand now why the forest wasn't the right habitat for Mr. Bubbles? Sure do. The four parts of a habitat wouldn't match what he needs. Food there wouldn't be right for him. It has water, but Mr. Bubbles needs to be surrounded in it. Mr. Bubbles wouldn't even have been able to move, so shelter's out of the question. And finally, the space itself doesn't match Mr. Bubbles at all. Well, since all animals need all four of these things, I think I got it figured out. Great, sounds like it's vacation time. Ah, how'd you do that? <laughs> Just enjoy your abiotic sand. Okay. ba do 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 ba do do do